Are you unable to store extra games on your USB drive when using FreeMic Boot? Even though your USB drive has more than enough space, then check this out. It may actually help you. Your biggest scene is over. I don't ever remember being a part of your crappies. Oh man, check out Special Agent Big Smoke. For this process to work, we're going to need two applications. The first one is USB Util, and here we're going to select the 80% translated version. It then navigates you to a media fire page, and here we select download. The second application is Defragler, and again, you select download. And as usual, all our links are in the description. Now that you can see the zip file on my desktop, using an application like 7-Zip, I'm going to right click and select extract to USB Util. Once extracted, I'm going to delete the zipped folder and then launch the English version of the application. You then click OK on the pop-up message, then File and then Create Game from ISO. Now that we've got the application open, we need to select the source. So this is where your games are currently stored. For me, it's on my D drive within my Emulator Games folder. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using GTA as an example. We then click the name of the title because another important point is that the name of your games need to be less than 32 characters. So let me delete some of the text that we have here. We then change the media to DVD. You then select your destination. And in this case, my destination is the F drive. And this is the USB stick that we're gonna use in our PS2. So when doing this, unlike your other games, we're not saving them in the DVD folder. We actually need to save it to the root of your USB stick and then you click create. Now this process may take a while, but once it's completed, you select Sera. Now that GTA is done, let's do the same process for Resident Evil. Now that's complete, we can close the application. And just to show you that it actually has worked, this is how it looks on your USB stick. When you add up all the sizes of the split files, you can see that the total file size is the same as it was originally. We then launch the Fragula so we can initiate the installation process. It may ask you to reboot your machine and once you reboot it, you can then open up the Fragula. But of course, select the correct option that works for you and then select finish. Once the installation is complete, you can then delete the Defragula setup file and then launch Defragula. Once opened, ensure you select the correct drive, you don't want to make that mistake, and then select optimize. It will then tell you once it's completed and you can then eject your USB stick. And to play it safe, I would always do a backup of my USB stick before using Defragula. You then fire up your PS2 with FreeMic Boot and your USB drive, select OPL USB, and you should then be able to see your games. So let's launch GTA to see if it actually works. And as you can see, it works as expected. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like and also hit that subscribe button. Until next time, catch you later.